Hello, 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 hello. Nicola, hello. First to comment, stay my lovely. Good evening, Sue. Hi, Bronnie and Jodie. Hello, 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 Linda. Hi, Sophie and a second Sophie. Hello, and Amy. Good evening. Hello. Uh, hi, Donna and Wendy. Good evening, Siobhan. How is everybody today? Hello, Michelle and Anne. Hello, hello. I hope you're all okay. I hope you're doing well. What's that? Oh, <laughs> I got the wipes ready today, just in case. Prepared for any uh, kind of smells going on. Hi, Helen, Linda, Tanisha, hello. Hi, Melanie, uh, Lillian, good evening. Hi, Wendy, hello, hello, hello. Oh, bless you, Sophie. Um, well, I hope you start to feel better soon. Bless you. Jane, thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, so, Sunday evening. It's a normal live today. Uh, normal openings. There is space available for today if you would like to order. We've got our pineapple pieces still on the website, which are quite cool. Um, so that under the fun section on the website. We've got our coconut quandaries, which is going to be finishing on Wednesday. And we've got our, if you purchase a charm, you get an extra free oyster opening, which is also finishing on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, also, there is a slight change to the live lineup this week. Uh, so we're live today. And then our normal next live would be Tuesday. Now, we're not going to be live on Tuesday. We're going to be live on Wednesday instead. So normally we'd be live on Tuesday the 30th. We've changed it to Wednesday the 31st. Okay, so th um, that's just this week coming. And then, of course, the following we week we're live on the Wednesday as well. But that's the monthly charm dip. So, yeah, this, went, this com upcoming week, we're not live on Tuesday. And it's moved to Wednesday instead for a normal, um, normal openings and bits. But yeah, so that has had to move. So I hope you all could understand. So we're still going to be on just a day late. Thank you, Sophie. They are double-sided and different colours. <laughs> if they are. I don't know if you guys can see the faces on them, but they do have little faces. Um, apart from that, I think that's all the updates. Um... Yeah, I think that's everything. So if we jump straight in, I have posted the order list on the page. So as always, if you have ordered, hopefully you've found yourself where you are on that order list. Uh, Gemma, yep, I've got you on the order list already, my lovely. Have I updated it on the page? Oh, I haven't. But if you have a look on the page, there's uh, Cindy is the last person on there. And then Gemma, I've got you after Cindy. Okay, sorry, I've updated it on my one. In fact, I'll copy it over now. So it's updated on the page as well. But yeah, if anybody would like to order, they can be added on for tonight. Okay, there is still space available. There we go. So that's refreshed on the page there. So um, you can see it there. I'll pop it in the comments as well, actually, with the order list. So that's the current order list there. So up first today is Nicola Dyson. Nicola, are you here? Uh, Karen, hello, good evening. Hello, Lynette, good evening, my lovely, and Nicola, hello, hello, hello. Now, Nicola, you have got two pineapple pieces. Now, um, would you like, what two numbers would you like? So you can have, if I grab, this is, oh, there we go. If I grab another one, so you can have one and two, or you can have this one and number one, or this one and number two. So I've just brought in a third one, just so it gives you that extra choice. 
because you do have two all together. So you, your cho choices are one, two, or the one in my hand. Which two would you like? Number one, number two, or the one in my hand. And like I said, I've just brought that forward just so then you still have the choice between them all. One and one in my hand. Okay, so the one in my hand I'm going to pop down. And then number one, uh, let's bring the camera down so you guys can see. So I'll open up number one first, which is that one. And then the one in my hand, I've moved back and we'll open that one afterwards. Okay, so this is number one. Now you do have oyster openings with both of these. So we'll do those ones after once you've chosen your charms. So... number one so what the pineapple is is you get a 95 silver charm and then you get a crystal charm as well and you guys get to pick which one of the two you would like to keep so the first one is the poppy charm so you can see here it's like an embossed poppy so you can see a few poppies in the field on the reverse side it is plain silver on that side very reflective as a uh, normal <laughs> But that is the poppy field charm so you can see here and actually with this one we've got a matching set of earrings to this one on the website the exact same design just smaller because they are stud earrings so that is your first charm to choose from the poppy field charm and the crystal charm is a crystal heart and it is a uh, silver crackle heart so I was just confirming what color the crackle was so you can see it is a clear crystal and then on the reverse side oh it looks gold on the camera let me just have another look To me it looks silver, on the camera it's looking gold. I think it's more silver crackle on the back, which means once you're looking through the heart, you can see that gorgeous crackle effect there. Okay, so you get to pick between the two, Nicola. Which two would you like? Uh, sorry, which one would you like? You've got the poppy charm and the crystal heart. Which one would you like? We do have family tree items, Siobhan, and family tree charms, yes. Keep, you'd like to keep the crystal, perfect. So the crystal is yours, and the poppy charm I'll pop over here. And then we'll open up this one. So this is the one which was in my hand. Okay, so again, we've got a 95 silver charm and a crystal charm. So your, oh, he's so cute. So your 95 silver charm is the balloon dog charm. Now this is a 3D charm. So as I move this around here, you can see all the different angles and he is a balloon dog how you would see a balloon dog made he is that balloon dog now of course all of our charms you can have all, all the charms included in the pineapple pieces you can have pearls on or off the jewelry so you can make that decision uh, once you've got your pearls if you choose to have them with the oyster opening okay so balloon dog for your first one or you've got our triangle crystal and that is in the golden shadow colour. So golden shadow is lighter and darker golden shades. Uh, it is quite a thick triangle. I'm trying to show you so you can see the points on either side there. So that's the width of the side of the triangle. So that's the golden shadow triangle, my lovely. which one would you like to keep so you've got your balloon dog and then you've got the triangle 
golden shadow crystal. You'd like to keep the crystal again, that's perfect. So balloon dog, you'll go over here and this crystal is yours as well. Uh, so if we bring you back up, you've got two oyster openings with those then my lovely. What two oysters would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? mystery oysters okay uh, keep or donate the shells and would you uh, I can't think today oh my gosh is there certain colors that you're hoping for you want the balloon dog he's so cute Karen honestly it is a little 3d replica obviously in silver but of a balloon dog he is lovely You've sent a loyalty card in an email, okie dokie. Let me just have a look. Mm -hmm. Hoping for greens. Okay, yeah, that loyalty card is perfect. Let me book that in. Okay, so a third mystery then. So hoping for greens and you'd like to donate your shells here. So if we go down, your mystery oyster number one, you've got a lighter pop there. And there's your mother of pearl. And in here, you have got a baby pink pearl. There's no more in that one. So oyster number one has given you a baby pink. Oh, bless you. Thank you. I'll pop the parcel on after the opening. Moving on to mystery oyster number two. Oh, very light, sharp pop there. And in here, there's your mother of pearl. And you can see a darker pearl here. Okay, so if I squidge him out and have a squidge in here... Okay, so there's no more in that one. So if I have a closer look here, he is... Ooh. You have got a black there. So a baby pink next to that gorgeous black. I don't know if it's going to focus on it. There we go. Very dark, but you can see it there next to the pink and then moving on to your last oyster which again would be your mystery oyster and we've got a triple pop there and a bright bold color in here there's your mother of pearl and you've got a gorgeous brighter icy blue and there's no more in that one Okay, Nicola, my lovely, what do you think to these? Now, I'll need to know if you would like a pearl on the jewellery, because like I said, with those charms, you don't have to have a pearls on there if you don't want to. You can have them loose. If you do want a pearl on the jewellery, excuse me, uh, you'll need to uh, let me know which one you'd like on which charm, so which colour on which charm. And of course, if you're not happy with these charms, 
Oh my gosh, if you're not happy with these colours, I can swap them for you. I don't know, I'm getting everything muddled up today. It's been one of those afternoons, but I thought I'd shaken it, but apparently not. <laughs> Your baby pink is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he's a 7. Your black is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. And the icy blue is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, he's a 7.5. Five. Swap a pink for a silver for the heart. Um, are you wanting a lighter silver? I need to put more water with it. More water with what, my lovely? Okay, so with the lighter silver, I think there's going to be a weight, as I don't have any next to me. So if you don't mind waiting, I can do that for you. Uh, if you prefer, you can have um, a different colour. If you prefer not to wait, though, Nicola, what do you think? What would you like to do? I can't see what that emoji is, Christine. And you'd like to swap the black for a watermelon. Okay. Darker silvers is fine. I know I've got dark silver, I just don't think I've got any next to me. Tell you what I'll do, if it's okay with you, I'll make a note that we're going to swap the pink for a silver to go onto the heart. It's just because I won't be able to have them now because I can't, uh, I don't have them next to me. So if that's okay, that will definitely do that. Oh, bless you, Christine. <laughs> I get you, but no, I don't drink. <laughs> I actually don't drink watermelon on a lobster okay so Nicola let me write this down and then you can just confirm everything's correct okay So I'm going to have on the triangle crystal, you've got the autumn peach pearl. On the heart crystal, you're going to have a silver pearl. We're going to swap the pink for a, um, if I put lightest silver I have, that way I'll give you the lighter shade of silver that I've got. And then the watermelon, you'd like to be invoiced for it to be on a lobster fitting. Okay, so just confirm for me if that's all correct, my lovely. Uh, the invoice will get sent across for you to the email address that's on the order form. So I hope that's all correct, my lovely. I'll just wait to see for you to confirm that if I've got that all down correctly. And like I said, with the silver, there won't be a weight and I'll find the lightest silver that I do have available at the moment.
That's fine, perfect. Well, thank you for the donations with your shells and I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives, my lovely. I've just popped that up there for you as well. Okay, up next then today is Anne Lewis. Anne, are you here? Oh, do you know I had a really itchy cheek? <laughs> I was sort of trying to ignore it, but when you ignore an itch, it gets more intense sometimes, doesn't it? Ah, thank you, Bab. Could you also top my back oyster bags up for me? Um, this one, Mystery and the Nunu, which is Delma. Thank you. Oh, number one needs a parcel. Thank you, my lovely. Okay, so Anne, I can see you. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, you have got a pineapple piece as well. So would you like pineapple number one or pineapple number two? Thank you, Bab. I would have passed it. Sorry, darling. So with your pineapple, would you like pineapple number one or pineapple number two? Number two, that is this one here. So let's go down. So again, we're going to have a silver or a crystal charm in here. You get to pick which one you would like to keep. So if we go for the silver charm first, uh, now this is an animal charm. This is one of the, we've got a few different styles of turtle and tortoise charms on the website. This one is actually one of our newest designs that we've got on there. Okay, so you can see he's got the um, turtle shape and then you've got the hollowed shell with the center being the filled heart. Now this is both the same on both sides, as you can see. And again, you can have the pearl on or off the jewelry. It is silver, but again, it's just being very reflective. So you can see it's just catching the different shades. And then your crystal charm is a crystal charm that has not been on the website before. And this is one of the sunspot crystal charms and it's in that gorgeous lighter blue shade. This one has got the point on one side, so it will sit and wiggle around on that side. The front side has got the flat surface, but again, you can see all the facets in the crystal there. Okay, so blue crystal, sunspot charm, or the turtle i think it's turtle love possibly on the website turtle charm which one would you like to keep you'd like to keep the crystal okay let me pop this one over here thank you very much bab and thank you for the tea as well so you have yours with an oyster opening oh no sorry you don't have an oyster opening with yours i do apologize You've got yours without the oyster opening. <laughs> I worded that very, very similar on the website, didn't I? So Anne, I hope you're happy with that, my lovely. You've got that blue crystal. I'll obviously pop the correct fitting that you've chosen here on there as well. And yeah, I hope you're happy with everything once it arrives. And I've popped that up there for you. Yep, if you order today, it will be done today. I can, I've got, still got space available for this evening. And you're very, very welcome. Okay. Up next then today is Rachel Jones. Rachel, are you here? Rachel Jones, are you here? Uh, 
Rachel, hello, hello, hello. Uh, let me have a look. Rachel, you have got one and two oyster openings, and then you've got the two pineapple pieces as well. So if we do your oyster openings first, um, so two oyster openings, mystery, oh, my bag got popped over here. Mystery, donate the shells, and you're hoping for a peachy coral kind of color, or even just a peach and a coral. So two mystery oysters. Let me just get these open for you. And let's go down. So mystery oyster number one. Quite a nice sharp pop there. And there's your mother of pearl. And your first oyster, you have got a gorgeous, brighter pink pearl. There's no more in that one. So he's quite a nice size as well, but gorgeous, brighter pink pearl there. And then moving on to oyster number two, which again is your mystery oyster. You've got a softer pop there. And there's your mother of pearl. And it's a pink night for you tonight, Rachel, because you are twinning on opposite sides of the oyster there and twinning with candy floss pink twins. Okay, there's no more in that one. So I'm just going to pop these in the sand as well. Okay, now you did say you was hoping for that peach or that coral. So if you would like to swap these, we can definitely do that for you. And I'll just need to know which pearl you would like to have on your jewellery. So a hot pink and then twinning candy floss pinks. If I run them through the board for you, the candy, uh, sorry, the hot pink is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5, not an eight, he's an 8.5. And then candy floss pink number one is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he's a 6.5. Candy floss pink number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six. He is also a 6.5. What do you think? What would you like to do? There we go. Swap the twins for a peachy coral to go on the charm you can you can I can <laughs> oh my gosh today on my wording one of the twins just one of the twins for a peachy coral um let's go for one of these just because these are coral but they can have that sort of oh lighter or darker in fact I'll give you the choice these are both coral one's a more pastel shade One's a slightly brighter shade. Would you like the lighter or the brighter coral there? Now the autumn peach are more peachy um, in tone, but yeah, these two. And if neither, I can grab you a different shade altogether. <laughs> And swap the other two for a blue and a purple and you prefer to have the lighter one there 
Okay, so that lighter one is going to go on to the jewellery. And then we're going to have a blue. I've gone for a TARDIS blue. If you prefer... Oh, I just dropped one. If you prefer to have like a lighter icy blue, um, that's fine. Just let me know. And purple, we'll go for a Cadbury purple. Again, if this is the wrong shade, just let me know. Okay, so have a look at those there. If I move the coral back. Are you happy with the, that blue and purple as well? I'm just going to take away the pinks here. One, two and three. Love them. Perfect. Okay, so if I'm just going to write down, we're going to have the coral on there. And then you do have two pineapple pieces uh, without oyster openings. So give me just a moment. You get to pick number one or number two or the one in my hand. So you get to let me know which two you would like. Number one, number two with the pineapples or the one in my hand. And again, that's just to give you the choice because um, you get to pick two. Number one doesn't sit face on, does he? I didn't know how else to weight these down to make them fit face on. <laughs> Just keep twiddling, twiddling them. Uh, one and one in my hand. So the one in my hand I'm gonna pop down just so I can grab number one. And then let's go down. We'll open up number one first. So that's this one. And then the, the one in my hand I've just popped at the back there. Okay, so in here. Oh, it's another hard decision. So I, I in my head like to play the game of which charm will you guys choose? And I normally base it on which charm I would choose. So for me, this one would be a hard decision. So we're starting with your 95 silver charm. And this is the scrolled heart or the scrolled love charm. Uh, I can't remember the exact name on the website, but as you can see, it is a heart which has got that scrolled effect at the top. Now half of the heart is the plain silver and half of it is encrusted with the zircon crystals. Okay, so again, this one can have a pearl on or off the jewellery. So that is your silver charm. Now your crystal charm is the peridot green rectangle charm so let me just get this focused for you there we go so again depend on where the light hits it depends on if it's that lighter or brighter sort of darker green against the glove it goes into that gorgeous deep shade against the white background you've got that you can still see the two or I was going to say the two tones, but there's lots of different tones of green in there, isn't there? So your choice with your first parcel, would you like to keep the 925 silver charm? Or would you like to keep your crystal charm? You'd like to keep the silver charm. Perfect. So the crystal charm will be going over there. And your uh, silver charm is yours. So then this one was the one that was in my hand. So if we open him up and you get to have that choice again. Now all the charms that are wrapped up are different at the moment. So you're not going to get doubles in there. Obviously with the crystal you may have the same shape but it will be a different colour. With the silver charms there isn't doubles in there. So you will get separate um, and different charms and choices. Okay, so with your silver charm this time, and we've got another style of heart charm here. Uh, let me get it focused. Look at him. So heart overall, you've got this beaded border going around the heart, and then you've got that rose flower again embossed coming out from that heart. So the back of this one is uh, stamped 95 silver and it's slightly indented, it's got that slight curve to it, but there is 
your silver choice. Okay. And then your crystal choice is the, this one again is not on the website, and this is the Jet Black Longer Crystal Heart. So we've got the traditional crystal hearts on the website. This is the longer one. Uh, same on both sides, this one, with the Jet Black. You can see the cut of the crystal as well with all the uh, facets there. You can see it's quite hard to see, but you hopefully as the light glimpses off it. Okay, so would you like the silver chuck? Oh, I do apologise, I didn't grab it properly. Da -da, silver charm, there we go. Or the crystal charm. Oh, you'd like to have the crystal one this time. Perfect, so that crystal one is yours. So the silver, I'll pop back over there. And then the heart is yours, my lovely. Rachel, I hope you're happy with that. Let me pop this on here as well. And of course, again, I'll be fitting all the fittings on there, the ones that you've chosen. Um, so Rachel, I hope you're happy, my lovely. Thank you for the donations of your shells from before. And I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. And that's safe up there for you. Could you have the other pearls on them? Uh, you can, that's not a problem. You just have to pay for the extra fitting um, just because the with the, if you choose to have it with the oyster opening, it's then included in the price. So I just invoice you for the extra fitting. So if you'd like to have your blue and purple pearls on there, you can do definitely, um, but that's up to you. I think the extra fitting, I think it's £1.50. That's just off the top of my head. Um, so if you would like to do that, would you like, which colour would you like on which one? And if you don't want to do that, that's absolutely fine as well. <laughs> like I said, it's completely up to you. And just having a sip of my tea. So you would like to have them on and for me surprise you with the colours on which one goes where. Well you've got a blue and a purple and you've got the jet black heart and the scroll heart. So both colours are going to go beautifully with either one. So that's not a problem. Let me just make a note of this. Um, Okay, I've got that down for you and I hope you're happy with the selection once it's chosen. Um, the invoice that will get sent across for you to the email address that's on the order form, my lovely. Okay, so perfect. And I've just popped that safely back up there for you. Um, okay, up next today is... I'm going to call Wendy Pierce. Wendy, are you here? Rachel, you're very, very welcome. Wendy, hello, 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 hello. Mystery and donate the shells. Okay, so you've got two, four, six, eight. Eight mystery oysters and donate the shells. Uh, one and two, is there certain colors you're hoping for? Three and four, five, oh, six, seven, and eight. So we're going to open these one at a time as we go, if that's okay with you. So let's go down. 
pop these to the side. Hello, Cindy. Not a problem, my lovely. I have added you onto the order list. Okay, so oyster number one, Wendy. Hoping for reds and purples. Okay, so you've got a lighter pop there. There's your mother of pearl. And your first oyster has given you a watermelon. There's no more in that one. So we've got a watermelon to start with. I may move the positioning of that one in the sand just to the top once the um, other pearls come in, just because we've got a few oysters here. But watermelon to start with, if I can get it focused, I do apologise. There we go. Moving on to oyster number two. And you've got a lighter double pop there. The shell is slightly broken on the back here. There's your Missouri pal. But I can see you are twinning. And twinning with pastel yellow pearls. Uh, visually they do look like they're different sizes and slightly slightly different shades as well so twinning yellows but they are they are slightly different so if I just move that one up here so the the smaller of the two is slightly more uh, lighter so you can definitely see the size difference there and the larger of the two is slightly larger they are gorgeous twins though and they do go with the watermelon pearl Moving on to your third oyster. You've got a double pop there. And there's your mother of pearl. Oh, you are twinning for a second time and twinning with yellow twins again. We've got pineapple pieces, Sandy. So your twinning yellows, the, the, sorry, now these two, they look like they're the same uh, shade. Let me just pop them in the sand. Uh, I think actually they are visually slightly different in size again, but they are the same shade as each other. Moving on to your next oyster. You've got a double pop there. And there's your mother of pal. And in here, you are twinning. For a third time. Now this time you're twinning with icy blue twins, Wendy. Uh, now with these icy blues, again, they're slightly different shades to each other. One is brighter and then one is definitely slightly, slightly lighter. So that's four oysters. Where did I just click? Okay, mouse is down there. <laughs> Sometimes in the past, if I've lent on the mouse, it brought the camera back up again, didn't it? So I just have to double check now if I do it, accidentally knock it. So this is the fifth oyster here. So in here, you've got a double pop and a slightly brighter pearl. There's your mother of pearl. And we have got a coral pearl here. If I squidge him out. And there's no more in that one.
they make the yellows look big. They all they they do. When you get a smaller pearl next to a larger pearl, it always does make the opposite look uh, the opposite way. <laughs> so you can see the coral is the brighter pearl there. The watermelon's got that slightly more pinky tone to him. And then your next oyster. So we're still with the mystery oysters here. You've got a lighter pop. And there's your mother of pearl. And at the top here, I can see a peeper. And we have a grape purple. And there's no more in that one. So a grape purple. I think that's your first darker pearl, actually. You was hoping for reds and purples, so possibly that's a shade that we could match if that's the kind of purple you're looking for. But of course, you can let me know at the end. There we go. Two oysters to go, so moving on to your next oyster. softer pop there there's your mother of pal and in here you are cording I can see four pearls there so there's one two three four and there's no more in that one so quadding was your seventh oyster and if I have a close look, we're going to pop these. Um, so you've got a forest green, an apple green, a autumn peach, and a hot pink. So let's pop them there. Forest green and then apple green. Oh, let me have a look at that autumn peach. He is slightly too tonal, you can see there two-tonal autumn peach and then that hot pink as well and then moving on to your last oyster wendy quite a nice sharp pop there oh and a runaway straight away there's your mother of pal and you've got a pink or runaway, again, slightly too tonal. And there's no more in that one. Okay, so let's show you this two tonal pinkle. And then what I'll do is I'll go through all of those colors again. Okay, so you can see it's lighter and brighter as you go around there. If I just pop that down there. So twins first, you've got two sets of twinning yellow twins. Uh, first set are different shades and visually different sizes. Second set are visually different sizes. You've then got twinning icy blues, which are slightly different shades. You have single grape purple, watermelon, coral, and a two-tonal pinkle. And then you've got a quadding hot pink, two-tonal autumn peach, apple green, and forest green. Now, I will need to know, Wendy, which colours you would like where. Um, if you would like some time to think about it, you can take a screenshot here and then email me your colour choices across. And of course, if you'd like to swap your pearls, we can definitely do so for you. If I run them through the board, we'll start with the single pearls. The purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, here's a 7. Watermelon's not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, here's a 7. And the coral is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, here's a 7.5. 
Two tonal pinkle is not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven. He's a seven point five as well. The quadding hot pink is not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven, not a seven point five. He's an eight. Two tonal autumn peach is not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven. He's a seven point five. Apple greens not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five. Oh, he's a seven. And then the forest green. Is not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven. So he's a seven point five. Moving on to your twinning pearls. Now the twin set yellows number one. Visually smaller, lighter pearls. Not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven. He's a seven point five. His twin, which is brighter, is not a five, not a five point five, not a six, not a six point five, not a seven, not a seven point five, not an eight. He's an 8.5. Yellow set two, larger of the two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5, not an eight. He's an 8.5. And twin set two, twin two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5. He's an eight. So they are measuring different sizes. Now the icy blue, which is slightly different shades, the brighter of the two. is a runaway but also not a five not a five point five not a six he's a six point five and the lighter of the two is not a five not a five point five not a six he's a six point five as well okay wendy my lovely what do you think and what would you like to do So I'm just going to go hold this across just so you can see them slowly. So that's the twins there. So the three sets of twins and then you've got your three single pearls at the top then your quadding pearls in the middle and then your single pearl on the bottom there. Oh, bless you, Josette. Thank you ever so much for the stars there. It's very, very kind of you. Thank you, my lovely. Okay, so can I match the purple? Let me have a little look. I definitely can match the purple. I don't know if I can match it now. Just because I don't know if I'll have that colour next to me. Okay, let me grab the other ones. Uh, four reds. Thank you. 
So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to grab some which are the same set shade and size for you. And I'm going for the slightly brighter of the reds as well. Okay, so, oh, no, grabbed the wrong one. There we go. So, four reds, two natural to go on the flowers. When you say natural, do you mean white? I'm going to grab white, but if you don't, if that's not correct, please shout out and let me know all oh, those ones there are lovely sorry it moved as I went to pick it up okay so the reds and the whites there are they okay and then you'd like to swap out apple green and any other plain colours so apple green uh, so what I'll do is these ones over here okay so let's not make this complicated the apple green we're definitely going to be swapping out and I'm going to match the purple with him. Okay. So the green won't be there. We'll match the purple, but I'm going to do that off the live just because I don't think I've got a purple next to me, but I can definitely match it because I do have a lot of purples. So if you're happy with these shades, so that will be two purples, the reds, and then the whites. I'll just need to know that is it just definitely the whites on the flowers and then the other three on the other items. Now swapping out wise, so we've got to swap out uh, six pearls there, okay, for these ones. So possibly the three sets of twins, the yellows and the blues. that's right with the colors here perfect just confirm would you like to swap out the yellows and the blues there that leaves you with this top row and the forest green i'm just going to write this down though color i'm just going to bring you up quickly just so i can write down which colors go where because that is correct so we're going to have one set of red the other set of red and a set of purple and we're going to swap the apple to match the purple and then on this set we're going to have the whites swaps out swaps out swap out the twins perfect i think that way unless you'd prefer to keep one of each twin color possibly that may be easier of the ways to do it okay so I've got that all down for you uh, like I said the purple will definitely get swapped so there's not a waste or anything I'll just do it in the morning once I can bring the other purples out and go through them so I'm just popping all your pearls in here for you okay wendy i hope you're happy with that my lovely let's pop all these on here uh thank you ever so much for donations with your shells there we go i've got your additional notes so that's not a problem that's all perfect i've highlighted it as well so that will definitely get done for you and yeah, I hope you're happy with everything, Wendy, once it all arrives. And that's safe up there for you. It's 
excuse me. Thank you. Lisa will love them. She's watched the opening. Oh, bless you. Well, Lisa, I hope you're happy with everything once it arrives, my lovely. Oh, number one needs a parcel. Thank you. I will get back in the swing of adding to it again. Uh, right. Let me just add this person here. Oh, is that the... Oh, that's perfect. Added that person to the order list. So that means up next then today is Tara O'Connor. Tara, are you here? Tara O'Connor, are you here? Tara, hello, hello, hello. Uh, you have got two oyster openings altogether. Uh, what two oysters would you like, my lovely? And would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells? Oh, let me mark that off that you're here as well. Perfect. two oysters all together mystery oh and keep the shells perfect uh, is there certain colors that you're hoping for Tara so mystery oysters number one and number two Do -do -do -do. Okay, so let's go down. Mystery oyster number one. You've got a lighter pop there. Oh, reminds me after this opening, my lovely, and I'll show you the images of where the donated shells go to. Okay, so there's your mother of pearl. Now you're keeping your shells, Tara, so I'll clean them up for you in just a moment. With your oyster number one you've got a brighter slightly two tonal coral there's no more in that one so what i like to do is like to clean up the shells as we go so i will hold up the pearl so you can have a close look in just a moment Okay, so slightly two-tonal coral. We've got lighter and slightly brighter areas as we go around the pearl here. And then moving on to your oyster number two, which again is your mystery oyster. And we'll got a softer pop there and in here there's your mother of pearl and I can actually see with this one Tara you are twinning and you're twinning with brighter coral twins one looks like he's slightly watermelony um, but I would say that they're definitely both base corals here now again I'm just going to take the flesh off here for you And if I pop all of your pearls in the sand with these coral twins, it does look like they're slightly different visually, um, sorry, slightly different in size and shade here. Okay, so you've got one brighter and then these darker, deep corals. Like I said, this one, larger one, slightly on the watermelon side of the colour spectrum. 
Now, if you're happy with these, Tara, that's perfect. If you're not happy, we can swap one or all of them for you. It's completely up to you. The single lighter coral is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He's a 7.5. And then the brighter twin is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6. He's a 6.5. And the slightly visually lighter twin is not a 5, not a 5.5. He is a six. So they're measuring different sizes as well as being slightly different shades in colour. So keep the darker twin. If that's not correct, please let me know. Oh, don't bury it. And then have a purple and a hot pink. You can indeed. Okay, have a look at those ones there. Are those colour shades correct for you? Thank you to everyone sending the love and the, and the likes. I do see them floating it, so thank you guys. Thank you. And that's perfect with the colours. Perfect. So if I just bring you back up, I'm going to take away the two we're swapping out here. And then I'll wrap up your shells. Tara, I'm glad you're happy with those. Okay, so just pop in your name on your shells here. There we go, and then if I pop your poles in here as well. Uh, so Tara, I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives, my lovely. There we go, so your shells are wrapped up and then that's all safe up there for you as well. Perfect. Uh, and up next today is Cindy Brown. Cindy, are you here? We've got Cindy, Gemma and then Chloe on the order list. So if you would like to order, the order list is not too long a wait uh, at the moment. There we go. And it can be added on for this evening. So Cindy Brown, are you here? Oh, shell donation, bless you, thank you. <laughs> okay, so my mum works in a nursery um, and these are just a couple of images of what the shells can be used with. Uh, so I clean them up and sanitise them and they go to my mum's nursery who uses them in different activities and collages, learning about the world, different textures, um, play and yeah, they, lots of different things. There's just two or three images but two different activities they do um, there. And Cindy, hello. So Cindy, you've got seven oysters all together. Uh, so if we open your oysters first, so seven mystery and donate the shells. One and two, three, four, five and six, 
and seven. Cindy, is there certain colours that you're hoping for at all? Now, if we bring you down, I'll open these one at a time as we go. Okay, so your oyster number one. Quite a nice deeper pop there. Oh, beautiful peeper there. Okay, so there's no pearls on that side. And then in here, one, two, three, and four, you are quadding with your first oyster there, Cindy. Quadding, my lovely. Let me just dry them up for you. Okay, so here you have got a TARDIS blue, a sea green, a bright coral, and a chocolatey silver. Beautiful shades there. They go really well together as well. So that's from your first oyster. Moving on to oyster number two. Quite a nice deep pop there. <coughs> Excuse me. There's no more in that one. And you are twinning. And you're twinning with pinkle twins here. I'm going to say they're slightly more pink than pinkle. But they do have that slight, slight purple tone to them. So pinkier pinkles <laughs> from your second oyster. Moving on to your next oyster. And in here, you've got a lighter pop there. There's your mother of pearl. And I can see you've got a lilac purple peeping out. I'm just going to pop him out and have a squidge. Okay, there's no more in that one. So you've got a lilac purple. Now I'm going to start popping the single pearls over here. So I know it looks like one long line of pearls, uh, but I will go through the colours all at the end. So lilac purple on the end there. Four more oysters to go. So moving on to your next one. Quite a nice deeper pop there. And there's your mother of pearl. And you've got your darker grape purple here. And let me have a squidge in here for you. There's no more in that one. So you've got your darker grape purple. If I pop him under the lilac purple, because those purple shades, they do go beautifully together. Have a look at those. There we go. And then three oysters to go. So moving on to your next one. A very sharp pop there. There's your mother of pearl. And in here, we've got a darker TARDIS blue peeper. Quite a nice sized larger pearl there as well. And there's no more in that one. Quite 
quite a rich, deep blue, especially compared to the blue from your quadding oyster up there. And then your next mystery oyster. You've got a lighter pop there. And in here, Cindy, there's your mother of pearl. You are twinning. And you're twinning with bright, hot pink twins. Uh, straight away, visually slightly different shades of, uh, no, sorry, size of pinks there. So they're the same shade, different sizes, but gorgeous, bright, hot pinks. We pop them over here with your twins. There we go. And then your last oyster, I think. Yep, last oyster, my lovely. You've got a deep pop there. And in here, there's your mother of pearl. And then sticking with your purple theme, you've got a mavender. So a mavender is like a darker lilac purple. Okay, so I'm just gonna rearrange the pearls slightly just so we can fit them all in. Um, so purple-wise, let's go in order. Look at all of these. Let's get this focused properly for you. There we go. So twins on the end here, you've got the pinky pinkle twins and then hot pink twins. And then your top row, you've got the quadding blue, sea green, coral and silver chocolate. And then the next four are your single pearls. So you've got the Tardis blue, grape purple, Mavender purple and lilac purple. Cindy, what do you think to all of these? If you're happy with the colours, that's perfect. If you're not happy, we can swap them for you. I'm going to run them through the board. So if we start with your twins, pink, pinkle twin number one is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5, he's an eight. And pink number two is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, He's a 7.5, so they're measuring different sizes there. Visually smaller bright pink twin is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He's a 7.5. And the visually larger pink twin is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, not an 8. He's an 8.5, so they're measuring definitely different sizes. The quadding chocolate silver is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He's a 7.5. The coral is not a 5, not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven he's a 7.5 sea green is not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven he's a 7.5 and the blue is not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven he's a 7.5 as well and then your single pearls which is the tardis blue is not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5 not a seven not a 7.5 not an eight he's an 8.5 grape purples not a five not a 5.5 not a six not a 6.5, he's a 7. Mavender is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7, not a 7.5, he's an 8. And lilac purple is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, he is a 7. Cindy, can you just confirm, are you happy with all of those for me? Aaron, yes. you nearly spilt that then. Can you please turn that on for me? And set it up. No. Thank you, darling. You pop it on there. Thank you, Bob. And turn the blue one off while that one's on. Thank you. Sorry, it's got really warm in here, so I need to turn the fan on. Can you just confirm for me, Cindy? Are you happy with all of those?
down, please. Thank you, Bab. Are you happy with all of those, my lovely? Sorry, I've put the bigger fan on now. Um, so if you can hear that, I do apologise, but it's got really warm in here. It's been quite a muggy day today, hasn't it? So I've had to pop that on again. I'm just going to bring you back up and if you're not happy with them that's oh you are happy with them okay perfect uh, so then Cindy you also have a pineapple pieces uh, no oyster opening with that one so which pineapple piece would you like you've got number one or number two which pineapple would you like, my lovely? So I just wrapped up your um, pearls there. And just marked off that you're here as well. Perfect. Okay. So pineapple one or pineapple number two? Two. Still appreciate having um, it above me. Number two. Okay, so number two, let's go back down again to. Where's my mouse? There <laughs> we go to go back down. So in here. Good evening, Natalie. Okay, oh, down the front there. So you'll have your silver and your crystal to choose from. As always, we'll start with the silver. So this one is one of our newer charms. Let me just arrange it so it's the correct way around for you. Oh, I can't, then I'll show you each one. Okay, so this is from the back. <laughs> so from the back, you can see that it is a larger heart with the crystal center. Okay, now actually these three hearts all go into three different hearts. You've got the larger heart, which is the border, the smaller heart, which is encrusted with crystals, and then the middle-sized heart, which is a filled plain heart so three hearts give it a little wiggle and they can all so that them dots are the back of the encrusted heart there so again this one you can have a pearl on or off the jewelry it's completely up to you and that's your silver choice cindy now your crystal choice is a crystal heart crackle charm and this is a black crackle so i know we had that silvery gold crackle earlier this is a black crackle so it is, does come under a different color so it's a clear crystal heart with that gorgeous black crackle if i show you the back that's where the crackle is there we go and now the aim is that in the front you see it through the crystal there Uh, thank you. Okay, so would you like the silver triple heart or the crystal black crackle? What do you think, Cindy? Which one would you like?
triple heart for you, Linda. I mean, that doesn't really, if I move it up, they sort of slide down. Oh, actually, that might be, although that one's completely backwards. There we go. Oh, that helps slightly. Just to compare both of them against each other. Can you have the silver heart? Of course you can. So let me bring you back up so I can do that one for you. So the crystal heart is going to go over there and the silver heart is yours. Could you put the Mavender on it and the rest on jump rings? I can indeed. Uh, of course, I'll send you the invoice for that if that's okay. So there'll be the invoice for the jump rings um, and of course for the fitting onto the charm, just because you've chosen to have yours without the oyster opening, which is absolutely fine. Not a problem to do it that way. So let me write that down. So on here, we're gonna have the Mavinder and you'd like to be invoiced for the fitting on the charm and invoice for um, the rest on jump rings. Okay, I've got that down for you. The invoice for that will get sent across for you over to the email address that's on the order form. Uh, thank you, Cindy, for the donations of all the shells from the start. And again, I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives, my lovely. You're very, very welcome, my lovely. Okay, uh, and up next then today is Gemma Wilton. Gemma, are you here? Pineapple. Thank you. So I'm just topping up the order list as we go. Pineapple, pineapple, don't you stop. Gemma, hello. Mystery, donate the shells, hoping for a watermelon or coral. That's perfect. Now, just because it is a different name on Facebook, as I've got on the order for my lovely, which is absolutely fine, but I just need to confirm that it's you. So with the email address that's on the order form, I don't need to know the whole email address. Just from the at sign onwards, what is that section of your email address, my lovely? So just from the at sign onwards, and that's like I say, just to confirm that it is you, um, just with the different names. And I'll mark off that you are here.
Gemma, that's perfect. Thank you, my lovely. So, mystery oyster, donate the shells. You've got two oyster openings all together, and you're hoping for a watermelon or a coral. Okay, so let me get these open for you. There's one and two. And let's go down. So, mystery oyster number one. Double pop there. And your first oyster, there is your mother of pearl. And you are twinning with lilac, oh, runaway, purple twins. I'll explain the pineapples in just a moment, my lovely. So there's no more in there. Lilac, purple twins to start with, Gemma. I don't know why I keep putting them at the top because if I put them in the middle it should there we go focus better and then moving on to your oyster number two quite a nice sharp pop there And in here, there's your mother of pearl. And you're twinning for a second time. And it looks like you're twinning with darker chocolate twins. And there's no more in that one. Okay, Gemma, my lovely, two oysters, two sets of twins. Now with these chocolate pearls, you do have one which is slightly darker than the other. What do you think to these? Now, if you're happy with these, that's perfect. I just need to know which one you'd like to go on your jewellery. If you're not happy, we can, of course, swap them. So you said you were looking for a coral or a watermelon. We can swap two of these out for a watermelon and a coral or all of them for two of each if you would like to. It's completely up to you. If I run them through the board, your lilac pearl number one is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven. He is a 7.5. The lilac purple number two is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5, .5, not a seven. He's a 7.5. The darker of the two chocolates is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5. .5, he's a seven. And the lighter of the two chocolates is not a five, not a 5.5, .5, not a six, not a 6.5. .5. He is a seven as well. Okay, Gemma, what do you think? What would you like to do? Okay, so I've just put the link for the pineapples in the comments there. There is a crystal and a 95 silver charm in each pineapple. Uh, you get to pick which number pineapple you would like and then you get to see the charms and then pick which charm you would like. You can also choose to have them with or without oyster openings and all the charms involved, there's not the same charm twice so they're all different and you can also choose with all of them to have your um, pearls on or off the jewellery as well. Gemma, can we swap one lilac for a watermelon? and have that on the jewellery and a hoop fitting on the darker chocolate. Okay, let me know if that watermelon is okay. I've gone for the brightest watermelon. If you prefer to have sort of those lighter shades, it's not a problem, let me know.
That's perfect, perfect. So if I bring you back up, oh, bring you back up here, we're gonna have watermelon on here and you'd like to be invoiced for the dark chocolate on a hoop fitting. Okay, I've got that down for you. Uh, the invoice for the hoop fitting, that will get sent across to you over to the email address that's on the order form, my lovely. Okay. And just popping these in here for you. Thank you ever so much for the donations with your shells, Gemma. And I hope that you'll be happy with everything once it arrives as well. There we go, that's on there. And then that's safe up there for you. You're very, very welcome. Not a problem. Okay, and up next then today is Chloe Cotterell. Chloe, are you here? Chloe Cottrell, are you here? Chloe, hello, hello, hello. You want mysteries and you're hoping for white or silver or pale natural colours to go with the personal meaning for your bracelet. Okay. So we'll see what comes out, my lovely. And if you're happy, that's perfect. If not, we can swap them at the end. Let me just have a look here. So we'll do your pineapple pieces afterwards. So you have got a four pearl oyster and you'd like a mystery oyster as well. So if we grab your mystery oyster and then your four pearl oyster um, okay so four pearl bag uh, we'll go for this one hopefully that'll be okay <laughs> so if we go down we'll open up the four pearl oyster first Okay, so in here, there's one side and the other side. Oh, and oh wow, running backwards, you've got one and two, three and four. You are quadding with your first oyster. So there's no more in that one. So quadding with your four pearl oyster here and the colours are gorgeous. It's like they come and they go together in twos. So you've got a dark Pepsi blue and an icy blue and then you've got a gold and a sort of burgundy chocolatey red. So Pepsi and icy blue and then a chocolatey burgundy red and a gold from your quadding oyster. And then if we move on to your mystery oyster. You've got a lighter pop there. And in here, there's your mother of pearl. And no way, you are quadding with your mystery oyster. One, two, three, and four. So two sets of quads there, my lovely. Now you definitely get to keep all of these. Love blues and gold, they're absolutely stunning. Oh, perfect. Now let me just show you these ones as well. So you've got here a dark chocolate, a sea green, a coral and a TARDIS blue. So I'll need to know which one colour you'd like to go on your jewellery 
And like I said, if you're not happy with any of these, we can definitely swap them. So it's completely up to you. So if I go through again, top row, you've got that chocolate burgundy red, gold, Pepsi blue and icy blue. And then the bottom row, you've got the chocolate, almost like a chocolate silver there, the sea green, coral, and then a TARDIS blue. So if I run them through the board for you, the chocolate burgundy red is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he is a seven. The gold is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he is a 6.5. Pepsi blue is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven. And the icy blue is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, he is a 6.5. Silver chocolate pearl is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he is a seven. And your sea green is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, he's a seven as well. Coral is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, he's a 7.5. And then the TARDIS blue is not a five, not a 5.5, not a six, not a 6.5, not a seven, not a 7.5, he is an eight. Um, can you have two pearls on your bracelet or does that only need to be one? I can do two. You can have one on either side of the, um, the centerpiece on the bracelet. It would be an additional charge just for the fitting with the pearl. That is £1.50 and it would be invoiced to you if you're happy for that. So if you would like to have two pearls on there, that's absolutely fine. But it would be an additional £1.50. Um, so again, if that's the case, that's, that's not a problem. Just let me know which two you would like. icy blue on the bracelet and change the chocolate for a natural white of course so uh, let me just grab that for you nope that one went <laughs> That's two pearls tonight. I'll grab them after the live. Okay, so just confirm for me, are you happy with that white there? And then we're going to have the icy blue on the jewellery. I'm going to bring you back up just so I can write that down. Uh, so icy blue on there. And are you happy with the white? That's perfect, perfect. And you're very, very welcome, my lovely. Uh, you also have a pineapple pieces with an oyster opening there as well. So we'll go through the uh, charms first and then we'll add on your oyster opening afterwards. So with the pineapple, so I'm just popping your pearls away. With the pineapples, would you like pineapple number one or pineapple number two? Number two, okay, so if we go back down and in here, uh, 
Okay, so your choices will be, of course, your silver or your crystal. If we do your silver charm first, now this one, this is going to be so hard to show you, but, so I'm going to see if I can get it. I need to like poke this through the card, that might be an idea. Uh, so this is called the I love you charm. So when you spin, this one has a spinning component, okay? So when you spin this, it says I love you. So let me just see if I can get this so it spins faster on the camera. I don't know how I'm going to hold this. <laughs> I need to like set up a, um, a video with this. Okay, so basically on both sides, you can see the etchings here. So it says, it's not the full word. So when it spins, it makes up the full word. I'm really sorry, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get it to spin. But as it spins, it says, I love you. <laughs> Does that make sense? It is lovely. But I, yeah, it just... Two seconds I'm just seeing if I can make it so if I hold it in a certain way no I'm not gonna be able to do it but it <laughs> it does so you spin it fast and it says I love you so that's your first one I'm really sorry I can't show you it um, but it does do it <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. Your second one is a sunspot uh, crystal. And this one we saw earlier in a different colour. So again, it's got the point on one side. It's got the flat section at the front here. And it's this gorgeous, deeper, almost like a denim blue. So again, you can see all the crystal facets there. So you get the lighter and the darker blue. So that is your crystal charm to choose from Chloe. So the Sunspot Blue Crystal. And I'm just going to see if I can hold this with my hand to spin him. Uh, these are cultured oysters, Nathan. So you do get, <coughs> excuse me, you do get natural colours. These are dyed coloured pearls, but they are cultured. So they're real pearls, but they are cultured pearls. Cultured oysters, I should say. It is a hard one, my lovely. I definitely agree with you there. Both of them can have the pearl on or off of the jewellery. Um, you do get another oyster opening, so you can decide that. And of course, we can swap the pearl colours as well. So it's just which charm would you like? The crystal or the silver?
have the silver one perfect so the crystal is going to go back over here and then you do have another oyster opening so what type of oyster would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate those shells <laughs> oh bless you so we've got mystery oysters which are a mix of all the colours you've got expand the rainbow oysters which are lighter rainbow colours new new rainbow oysters which are darker rainbow colours and normal natural oysters which are natural coloured okay so mystery is a mix of all the colours then you've got light rainbow dark rainbow and normal so normal natural so depending on what shade you're going for um, the most popular is the mystery I think that's just because in the mystery you get the um, more chance of multiples I think but saying that we don't open the other oysters as often <laughs> so it can't really be compared it's not a fair percentage opened if that makes sense you'd like to have a mystery okay would you like to keep or would you like to donate these shells and would there be a certain color pearl you're hoping for to go alongside that charm or like i said actually you don't have to have a pearl on there if you don't want to so let's go down your mystery oyster you've got a lighter pop there so in here there is your mother of pearl and straight at the top you've got a baby pink and there's no more in that one so you have got a baby pink okay what do you think to this one chloe so a couple of questions if you're happy with this one uh, are you would you like him on or off the jewelry and if you're not happy would you like to swap the pearl color and again, would you like that on or off the jewellery? If I run him through the board, he is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5, not a 7. He's a 7.5. Oh, bless you. I've just seen that you'd like to keep your shells. So I'm just going to clean them up and then I will um, bring the pearl back for you to have a look at it. Okay. okay so that's safely wrapped up for you if i bring your pearl back for you chloe there we go so baby pink i'm just going to pop him in the middle of the sand so then it should focus clearer for you Uh, you can do, yeah. So you'd like to keep the baby pink and then the gold here, you'd like to have that on the I Love You charm. Is that correct, my lovely? So I've just got the gold out there just so you can see it there. Possibly Jackie. 
<laughs> um, possibly. I often hum without realising, like realising which, which song I'm humming. That's perfect, okay. So I'll write that down for you. We're gonna have gold on the jewellery and then the pink pearl is still your one. Okay, and I've wrapped up that shell for you as well, Chloe. Perfect. Well, I hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives. I've wrapped up your shells there and that's safe up there for you. Uh, it would prevent it from spinning if it's hanging down, but if you hold the charm, so for example, if the pearl, no, if the charm's clipped on or on a bracelet, if you then just move the pearl out the way, while you're spinning it or blowing on the charm to make it move, it will spin perfectly. But yes, if the pearl's hanging down, unless it was or like on the bar on the side of the charm, the charm wouldn't spin because it would hit the pearl. So you just move the pearl either onto the side or you just hold it up out the way to make the charm move. Oh no, Jackie. Oh, bless her. Uh, perfect Chloe, I ho do hope you're happy once it arrives as well. Uh, up next today is Linda Southam. Linda, are you here? <laughs> Linda, hello, hello, hello. Now I've grabbed another parcel because you have got two pineapple pieces, no oyster openings there. So basically, so you still have a choice of which ones you would like. You can pick from, because you've got two choices, number one, number two, or the one in my hand. So you've got three choices to choose from uh, because you've got two all together. I think I'm making that so much more complicated than it needs to be. But which two parcels would you like? Number one, number two, or the one in my hand? Can you get one and two? Perfect, I'll just pop that one back for now. So number one and number two, if we go down, number one was the red one. Now these colors don't mean anything, it's just the two different colors that we wrap them up in. So if we open up number one first, and that is the red one. Oh, again, a hard choice here. So your silver charm. This one is another moving charm. So it has got a blue crystalled starfish and a seashell on this charm. So you can see that they sort of go on which way you're looking at the charm depends on which way round it's going to be. Now this one also has a different style of hoop fitting on here. So it's a thinner and it is encrusted with zircon crystals on the hoop fitting. Now you have requested a hoop fitting, so you can choose to keep this one, or if you would like me to, I can still change it for our normal hoop fitting lender. So if you choose this charm, you also get to pick if you keep with this fitting on here or if we change it to our normal hoop fitting. Uh, there's no obviously change in price or anything like that. It's just going to be completely your choice. So I'm just trying to make them so they part again so you can see them both. There we go. Okay, so that is your silver choice. Uh, oh, it does actually look like, hang on, let me just have a look. Okay, so if you pick the silver one, it wouldn't be this one. I've just noticed then there is a slight zircon crystal missing on that hoop there. So if you do pick the silver, it won't be this one because this one I would need to um, 
replace or repair um, but it wouldn't be that one because that one does have a stone missing I don't know if you can see that so I do apologize for that but it would be one with a full full stoned <laughs> uh, top bit or your crystal charm is a crackle fitting again a crackle crystal again now this is a light silver crackle and it's a sunspot crackle charm so let's get this focus so this has got the spikes so the points on both sides so no matter what way it sits it's always going to sort of be on a wiggle because it's on a point and it's got that gorgeous lighter silver crackle so it's this more subtle crackle but you can see that coming through on the crystal there no decision for you keep the silver perfect what i'm going to do is i am going to put this on with the order form but i'm going to make a note that obviously we just need to swap it over so you will get that charm just we'll just get that one um so with this one as well would you like to keep this type of fitting or would you like to change it for the normal hoop fitting I'm just making a note there that I'd need to change the charm itself, uh, but keep the sparkle fitting. Perfect, just so I've got that down. Okay, so we've still got to open up parcel number two. So this was your second choice here. So, oh, there we go. Now in here, uh, again, we'll start with your silver fitting. So this one is quite a nice size charm. It's slightly larger. So this one could be worn as a pendant as well as a charm. And it's two hearts overlapping. Now it does have a front and back. So the back is the plain silver there. The front has actually got textured hearts. So the top part, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this focused. The top part is lined so it's got like etched in lines onto it just to give it that extra, can you see if I move it like that, extra um, detail. So overlapping hearts and again your pearl can go on or off of here and it can be seen either way round. Okay so that's your silver charm or your crystal charm of this one is the pear shaped crystal okay so pear shaped crystal and that is in the purple and green so depending on where the light hits it depends if you see purple oh wow look at it against the dark black ground depending on where your light hits it depends on if you see purple or green it's quite a difference with the lighter and the darker background there again it just depends on how the light hits the crystal itself. Um, let me see if I can hold it away from there as well. Okay, so which one would you like on this one, Linda? Would you like to go for the silver with the double hanging hearts? Or the pear crystal? with the purple and green. You have the crystal already, so you'd like to go for the silver again. Okay, perfect. Let me bring you back up. Um, so let me pop this in here. So there's no oyster openings with that one, which is perfect. And I have got down that you'd like to keep the sparkle hoop fitting. Of course, it'll be replaced with another one, but you will keep that. Linda, I hope you're happy with that, my lovely. So I've got that all down for you. And of course, Linda, I hope you're happy with everything once it arrives. I'm very, very, oh, 
I'm try that again. Very, very welcome, my lovely. Okay, and up next today is Lindsay Kurtzley. Lindsay, are you here? Lindsay, yes, you my lovely, hello, 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 um, so Lindsay, I have a little message to read to you, okay, so I'm, I'll read it out for you as it's written, to my beautiful girlfriend, I am going to work away tomorrow for quite a while so I thought I would buy you this gift to say I love you to the moon and back all my love Kennedy so I'll read that one more time to my beautiful girlfriend I am going to work away tomorrow for quite a while so I thought I'd buy you this gift to say I love you to the moon and back all my love Kennedy um, it's very, very sweet. Now it doesn't say here, Lindsay, uh, if I'm allowed to say what it is or not. So just in case, I'm not going to say what it is, um, but I can say it does have one oyster opening. Um, so and of course if he if he um says i can tell you then that's absolutely fine i will of course tell you or he might be able to tell you <laughs> but what type of oyster would you like and would you like to keep or would you like to donate your shells my lovely it's so very sweet you're shocked oh bless you i from my end you're very welcome I just read the message though, you're very welcome. I love it when it's a surprise for somebody. mystery and donate is there a certain color you're hoping for lindsay so mystery oyster let me get him open and if we go down okay so mystery oyster you've got a lighter pop there There is your mother of pearl. And in here, you've got a darker pearl there. And there's no more in that one. So he is a darker shade. I'm just gonna dry him up so we can have a closer look at the color for you. He is a darker gunmetal grey. Now he does look like he's got a slight greeny blue tone to him, but he is very, very dark. Hopefully you might be able to see that greeny blue coming through. But overall, a very dark gunmetal shade. Now, Lindsay, if you're happy with this one, my lovely, that's perfect. I can pop him on your jewellery. Uh, if you're not happy, though, we can swap him, so it is up to you. Your uh, darker pearl is not a 5, not a 5.5, not a 6, not a 6.5. He is a 7.
happy with that one. Perfect. Let me just bring you back up then. Lindsay, my lovely, I'm glad you're happy with that. If I pop this on here. Thank you ever so much for the donations with your shells. And I, of course, hope you'll be happy with everything once it arrives as well. And that's all safe up there for you, my lovely. Okay, perfect. I've got a really itchy end of my nose for some reason. Uh, I think that may be the end of the order list. Let me just refresh that. And before you all run off, <laughs> we're live again on Wednesday, not Tuesday. So we're normally live on Tuesdays. However, this upcoming week, if we have just switched it. So not live on the 30th, we're live on the 31st, which is the Wednesday. And that's going to be for normal openings. Okay, for this week only. Oh, bless you, Sarah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that is everything for today. I've just refreshed, and that is uh, the end of the order list. Um, so we'll see you on Wednesday evening. Uh, and have a brilliant start to your week, and have a good Monday morning. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.